Hey guys, what's happening? Um, today is Thursday, it's 4 p.m., so it is live stream time. And uh, for those who are not aware, today's show is uh, what I'm calling a first last, which means uh, that uh, I'm taking requests and I've been taking requests over Instagram uh, for songs that are either the first or last songs on any of the releases that I've had a part of. So uh, with fur without further ado, with further ado would be a me sitting in front of 10 minutes. Without further ado, uh, I'm gonna play this one. This is actually the first time I've ever played this one in public. I guess this counts as public. All the East Coast blue bloods had come out west And I watched them argue about who loved you the best I was conspicuously of my kind Overdressed but woefully underrefined With a story held together like boulders with a piece of twine Three helicopters circling Retreating and returning your photographs were on the news and I was there, just out of view I was standing with a smile chiseled into my head With a mind in retreat to the places I wished I would have been When you caught my gaze, I turned away Planned an exit like a grand escape As I watched you spinning through the revelers like a cheap ballet These words all sound familiar Convictions of forever you tied a wish to a balloon Watched it fly into the blue But you will find someday soon That it will fall, yes it will fall They all do They all do Yes, they all do Yes, they all do Yes, they all do That's a song called Blue Bloods uh, from the Blue EP, which is a little EP we put out last fall. And uh, yeah, the song was kind of kicking around for a while and uh, kind of lived in some different iterations. And uh, Zach Ray helped us kind of get it, get it into album form for that EP. And uh, I'm glad we were able to finally release it. it it's been kicking around for a couple of years, as I said. And I, Trying to find a good home for it. I'm glad we did. Um, and it was the last song on the EP, so it fits fits with the uh, theme. That one goes out to Aiden. Um, all right. Uh, speaking of EPs, let's, let's keep going with an EP here. Um, uh, this is the first song on the Open Door EP. The Eiffel Tower built a smaller scale The freshest oxygen I'd ever inhale I tacked a bottle against a safety rail Killing time and You were like a walking compliment Tall in stature and exceptionally red And dummy 
glasses and the cardigan. Oh, come on. No, so empty were the faces of the dealers and the waitresses all around. You said that all these things you've learned to ignore. The hidden cameras on the casino floor. And what gets paid for behind hotel doors are from mine. You pretend every slot machine is a robot amputee waving hello. The people stare into their eyes and they feed them little bribes and then they go. Never-ending twilight In a basement where the sun has never spilled You said that you were lonely And then we kissed like lonely people do You said the city has a beating heart that pushes people down the boulevard. And there are hoping for a wish fulfilled in a desert for a dollar bill. And those foolish dreams, you know, they plague me still. Oh, come on. No, so empty were the faces of the dealers and the waitresses all around. No, oh, so empty were the faces of the dealers and the waitresses all around. They're empty. Um, that is a song of Las Vegas, a place that I have. I always, that's not a place that I, I, I particularly like going. I mean, I like going there to play shows. And I like uh, seeing you guys who live there when you, when you come out. But um, I'm, not a, I'm not a gambling man. And uh, kind of the, the glitz and kind of swaths of humanity are, uh, can be a little much for me. Um, but I have to say, every time I go there, something crazy happens. So, uh, in that sense, it's really good for songwriting. But uh, I guess less crazy things happen now than they used to. Uh, but that's a, that maybe a story for another time. Um, all right, uh, I'm going to play a song uh, Sarah R. Kim requested. Uh, this is uh, the first song from our first ever album. Uh, proper album, that is. Gravitated towards a days for foreign films and modern plays. That machine could only bend two squares five to six times before your fingers came unwired. Weights down so that you could move forwards, forward so you Nerves. 
knock the wind from one last urge with two fingers in a rock glass time passed and that was that quite a slip of loose and grass Weights down so that you could move forwards, forward so you could move forwards, forward. Ooh, what a way to cut lengthwise. Ooh, what a way to cut lengthwise. So that indeed is the first song from a first record. And um, it's really a testament to how songs come from very strange places. And I remember uh, reading a review, I was living in Bellingham at the time and, and in the paper there was a review of what was then, I think a new biography of Frank Sinatra uh, uh, called The Way You Wear Your Hat. And I didn't read this book, but <clears throat> I just picked up one little bit of information out of the review and it mentioned something about him always drinking three fingers on a rock glass. Uh, and three fingers, if you're not aware, uh, you would hold you'd hold three fingers against the glass and that's how much uh, uh, liquor you'd want poured into the glass. Um, and that was kind of his 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 uh, his preferred amount of alcohol per drink. Um, and from that, just one little piece of information, I kind of constructed the song around it. It's somewhat impressionistic and doesn't really have anything to do with Frank Sinatra, but it was that one little piece of information that kind of set off uh, the entire song. And and sometimes that's what that's how they how songs arrive. They just arrive out of the ether, uh, kind of triggered by the least likely of uh, uh, kind of triggers. Um, yeah, um, so I'm going to play a kind of a short song here that, uh, Ethan Ellis, uh, requested. And I think whenever anybody requests a song, I can't, I can't tell if they're trying to like, you know, get me or something by requesting a song that is, uh, somewhat unplayable or seemingly unplayable on acoustic. Um, I'm not, Ethan, I'm not saying that you tried to do this, but, uh, but, uh, I'm going to do it anyways, regardless of anyone's intentions ever asked for this. So here goes. I'll write you a song and it won't be hard to sing. It will be a natural anthem, familiar. It will seem it will rally all the workers on strike for better pay and its chorus will resound and boost morale throughout the day i'll write you a song and i hope that you won't mind because all the names and places i've taken from your life so please don't be upset at this portrait that i paint it may be a little bias, but at least I spelled your name right.
spelled your name right. Spelled your name right. There you go, Ethan. Uh, sadly, I was unable to do the <laughs> five minutes of glitch that Jimmy sent me on that track. Um, uh, okay, I'm gonna let's do let's do two more tunes and then some questions. I, I think that's what we'll do today. Um, someone called in a song I haven't thought about in some time. And uh, so I had to go and spend some of the day relearning it because it had been a long time. And uh, in the, I think it was in 1999, I put out a side project called All Time Quarterback. And uh, I don't necessarily know why I did it. I guess because in Bellingham in, that, in those days, <laughs> in the olden days in Bellingham in the 1900s, uh, a lot of us were, a lot of people were just doing five bands, just five little projects, four track, four track projects, things like that. Um, and so uh, I kind of had a couple of broken instruments, um, you know, guitars with only four strings and a bass with only two strings, no frets. And I made this little uh, EP um, out of it, uh, self-titled EP. So um, this, uh, this song is, is the last song on that. Uh, I guess it's technically a record, but um, the song is called Send Packing. Oh, and this song goes out to Froggy Park. Everything said, I drink till I'm sober, then start again. If you had the answers, as I was in charge, why was it ending? Why did it start? I do declare you were all that I wanted I was so stubborn The risks were undaunted If you had the answers I wasn't told That makes you selfish Heartless and cold If I'm sent packing Then I'm giving up Rights to the children, the keys to the truck. If you had the answers, why was it hard to lock the door and keep up your guard? And there's nothing. We haven't gone over already There's nothing to say We haven't gone over already
I've always been a fan of that one after I was kind of relearned it. I was like, I kind of like this song. And I realized, I think I realized this at the time, but I, I definitely realized it all these years later that I was 100% trying to write a Pedro the Lion song. <laughs> 100% trying to rip off Dave. Um, all right, let's do uh, let's do another one, and we'll do we'll do some questions here. Uh, okay. deserve songs played in tune now. All right. I don't know where to begin. There's too many things that I can't remember. They disappeared like a trend. In the hum of the five in the early morning And now I'm taking my time Up through Koalinga, through the valley This highway lived in my mind It takes me back to the place that made me Was I in your way? When the cameras turn to face you no room and frame for two. You cannot outrun a ghost. Speeding southbound lanes with abandon. It catches you on the coast or on the cliffs of the palisades. You kill the engine. And then it hovers above Reeling bodies failing to discover The thing they once knew is love Raising their voices to convince one another Was I in your way? When the cameras turn to face you No room in frame for two How can I stay in the sun when the rain flows all through my veins? It's true. And I guess it's not a failure we could help. And we'll both go on to get lonely with someone else. Was I in your way when the cameras turn to face you? No room in frame for two. How can I stay? In the sun, when the rain flows all through my veins, it's true. And I guess it's not the failure we could help. And we'll both go on to get lonely with someone else. All right. Oh, what's going on over here? Um, all right. Uh, if anybody's got any questions, shoot them. Although it looks like there's some insane spamming of some sort going on here. Uh, here's a good one. Do you put uh, certain songs first or last on the albums on purpose? Uh, yeah, 100%. Um, I think we're always looking to kind of have a an opener that's uh, somewhat declarative. Um, not so much in kind of trying to make something that's like epic and big, but something that just kind of kind of enters the room and kind of gives you its intent as far as what the rest of the record is going to kind of feel like. So, uh, and 
Uh, closing songs also, I, I realize we have a lot of songs in the end of records that are kind of quiet, but um, yeah, I think I, I think it's important when constructing a record to try to have a very strong opening and closing song uh, so that when the record finishes, well, when you put the record on, you're excited immediately. Um, but then also when the record's over, you want to start the record over again um, or you want to play it again. So that's that's always the idea. Uh, you know, mixed results sometimes it's sometimes better than others, but that's uh, but that's uh, that's that's why. Um, uh, someone asked uh, before what Sarah said is a work of fiction, but love is watching something die is a real quote or idea from a friend named Sarah. That is one hundred percent true. Um, uh, I have a friend uh, named Sarah, and uh, and uh, at one point she was talking about her, you know being on a walk with her husband and kind of all of a sudden just kind of having a, a moment. And he, when he asked what was wrong, um, she kind of through the tears said, I'm going to have to watch you die. And, uh, you know, that it, it's funny. I, it, well, it's not funny, but um, I think one of the elements of like being in a relationship, a marriage, certainly uh, growing old with somebody is that, uh, one of one of you is going to lose the other, and um, it's uh, it's going to happen to all of us at some point if it hasn't already. And uh, and I guess one can kind of uh, an odd person to quote, but to quote Vin Scully, <laughs> you know, you can either be you know sad that it's over or happy that it occurred in the first place. And I'd like to hope that uh, when when my time comes on either side of that, uh, that uh, Rachel will. Uh, or I will feel that way. So, um, all right. Whoops. Uh, can you talk about how you ended up with multiple songs that should be linked to one another? Uh, Tiny Vessels, Transatlantic, and Passenger Seat. Uh, you know, that was, those calls uh, tended to be um, when Chris was producing the records, he would kind of, he would, he would kind of create these through lines, connected songs and, um, I, I think that was always, that was one of the, one of the many wonderful things that he kind of brought to those records is that, uh, I think it really made a record. I think today, um, you know, in a, in a streaming culture, we kind of take bits, we kind of take songs here and there and we kind of split them apart and records have become, uh, a less, def less definitive statements because, uh, singles have become, uh, it's almost like a full circle thing where singles were kind of how rock and roll started and then albums became the definitive statement. And now it seems that singles are kind of taking over again. Um, but, but we all collectively have always really valued the, uh, the integrity of an album and as an album is a definitive statement of a, an artist at that exact time. So I think uh, kind of tying songs together um, is kind of a, is a kind of a, a great way to kind of really enforce the idea of an album that these songs all belong together. Um, all right, let's do, uh, let's do, let's do one, let's do one more here. Let's find a good one now. Uh, they're all good, but, uh, uh, is there a song you get tired of playing? Um, there really isn't. And I'll tell you why. Um, I feel so, and I, I know we all feel this way in the band, but I'll just speak for myself. I just feel, I've had friends who have been in bands that have had a, like a big single, dare I say, um, uh, what might uh, be referred to as uh, one hit wonders, so to speak. Um, the hit being, of course, a song that everybody knows. And, uh, and I know people who have tired immensely of playing those songs because they feel like uh, it is the only th song people know by them and it is the definitive thing and that all the other music is kind of uh is, is not viewed with the same level of enthusiasm but for me I, I feel that you know our most popular songs or my most popular songs um are the reason a lot of the reasons that so many of you are at the shows and while people's fandoms tends to kind of uh you know tends to kind of waffle between um, being uh, very 
effusive. There are people who know everything. They know all the deep cuts. And I didn't see a lot of you guys in the questions you're asking and the songs you're asking for. I can tell like there's a lot of hardcore fans in, in this uh, show, which is awesome. Um, but a lot of the, a lot of people only know maybe four or five of our tunes and, um, and those tend to be the really popular ones. So I'm just happy that any song that I've written or been a part of writing has been able to connect to anyone. And certainly the songs that have gotten us into Madison Square Garden or Red Rocks or the Hollywood Bowl or what have you are, you know, the reason we're playing venues like that is because we have some songs that a lot of people know. Um, so I, I don't get tired of playing those songs. I, I, cause I love to see how you guys go crazy when we play them. And, uh, it's such a gift that you guys give us that, uh, that, uh, you guys come out and, and, uh, react that way. So thank you. Um, all right, let's get back to some tunes here. Uh, all right. This is a song from a record I did with, uh, Jay Farrar and it goes out to, uh, Walter and Orlego. The Hudson Valley across New York State to Chicago and the plains. All so easy and dreamlike, crashing the salt flat daybreak. I hear I'll take you home again, Kathleen said, and fog winds out there to blow. Plus the rooftops of eerie old hangover, San Francisco. I'm transcontinental, 3,000 miles from my home. I'm on the California Zephyr, watching America roll by. I'm transcontinental, 3,000 miles from my home. I'm on the California Zephyr, watching America roll by. Hit the end of the trail, can't even drag my body I've been driven mad for three years Too much fame keeps a body busy And a mind full of white poor tears Terrified by that sad song Across rooftops mingle with the lack of most cries the Salvation Army meeting on the corner Saying Satan is the cause of it all I'm transcontinental, 3,000 miles from my home. I'm on the California Zephyr, watching America roll by. Now I'm transcontinental, 3,000 miles from my home. I'm on the California Zephyr, watching America roll by. Uh, this one goes out to Kayla Stars. Left uninspired by the crust of railroad earth that touched the lead to the pages of your man. I took my thumb off the concrete and saved up all my strength to hammer pillars for a picket fence. It wasn't quite what it seemed, a lack of pleasantries. My able body isn't what it used to be. I must admit I was charmed by your advances. Your advantage left me helplessly into you. Talking how the crew had begun to splinter. And I could taste your lipstick on the filter. I tried my best to keep my distance from your dress, but call response overturns convictions every time. Whoops. 
My memory cannot recall a wave of alcohol. We shared a cigarette and shaved the hours off. Talking how the crew had begun to splinter, and I could taste your lipstick on the filter. Blushing with the hallway congregation, my best judgment signed its resignation. I rushed this. We move too fast. Trips into the guest room. I rush this. We move too fast. Trips into the guest room. I think I'm hearing from my people on the chat that there was some problem ah, with YouTube. That explains it. Uh, yeah, because I saw I was I was looking at the uh, my little charts and graphs here, and I saw you saw a lot bunch of you just disappear all of a sudden. And I thought, boy, you guys really did not like Natural Anthem. Like Fifteen hundred people just logged off immediately. <laughs> Like, I hate this song. Uh, it's good to have you back, though. I can see most of you are back. Um, okay, that's what I'm going to do here. Uh, oh, um, uh, you know, every week I'm going to hit you guys up for a little bit of cash. It is my way. Uh, and uh, this, this week's uh, charity is the Arts Fund Seattle, uh, which is one of a number of uh, wonderful uh, organizations that are helping to uh, collect donations and disperse them amongst artists in Seattle who have been hit uh, incredibly hard by this pandemic, as as has virtually everyone. Um, and uh, I think when I when when I'm choosing organizations to support, I think it's important to note, and I hope you guys know, that I recognize that people everywhere all over the world are are uh, suffering right now and are struggling. Uh, and my, my primary focus in all of this um, has been to support uh, people in my immediate community. And um, my hope is that uh, people who are, have the ability to uh, raise money for um, people who are struggling or in need, um, uh, the large organizations, the, the national ones, um, are of course good. There's nothing wrong with them at all. Uh, a lot of them do wonderful work. And any, uh, any support that anybody can give to any organization at this point is uh, very noble and uh, much appreciated. However, uh, I feel it's incredibly important for people in my position to be focusing their um, focusing their efforts on their immediate community. I think if a lot of people did that, and by I say immediate community, I mean predominantly smaller uh, local organizations that don't have the um, they're not as maybe as sexy as some of the the larger national ones that are are kind of all the all the rage to support. And I know I sound like the ultimate indie rocker in saying that, but my intentions are very pure. Uh, I feel it's important to, uh, I think if we all kind of focus on our communities and try to help our neighbors, our immediate neighbors, um, you know, the the issues and, and problems that we're all having, uh, they will seem just a little, a tiny bit manageable if we think about our communities and what we can do to help people and in our own neighborhoods, in our own cities. So I urge you all to do that. Uh, and even having said that, I just ask you to help me support an organization in my city. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, there's a there's a link down here, a link uh, 
a Venmo link, which you can donate if, if you feel so inclined. And I would very much appreciate it if you have a couple bucks to throw at it. Uh, all right. Um, here is the, I'm going to play a couple more tunes for you. Uh, here is a song that is going out to Nicole Lamb. Uh, it goes like this. There's nothing funny about you slipping away. There's nothing funny how you're spending your days. But you're laughing like a kid at a car. I watched you stumbling around this dusty town I heard your bottle talking way too loud The federalities tried to hunt you down There's something you can't remember what was about A curtain falls to applause And the band plays you off The band plays you off a superhero growing bored with no one to save anymore. I used to watch you on the late night scene, the timely rescue of a metal team. Six strings were strumming rhythm and lead that hadn't occurred to me. When I met you, I was 22, trying so hard to play it cool. But there was so much that I needed to say, nothing came out the right way. The curtain falls to applause, and the band plays you off. The band plays you off. Hold on a second. I'm gonna pick up here. I'm so distracted by how out of tune this fucking guitar is, and it is 100% my fault. I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna pick up back where we were. <laughs> oh, it's just so distracting. All right, let's start at that chorus. The curtain falls to applause, and the band plays you off. The band plays you off. It's a superhero growing boy. No one to save anymore. The curtain falls to applause and the band plays you off. The band plays you off. There's a superhero growing boy. No one to save anymore. There's nothing elegant in being a drunk. It's nothing right just being 60 in a palm. When you're looking in the mirror, do you see that kid that she used to be? Broken working in a record store, daydreaming about the upcoming tour. Were you happier when you were poor? Were you happier when you were poor? Curtain falls to applause and the band plays you off. The band plays you off. It's a superhero growing boy, no one to save anymore. The curtain falls to applause and the band plays you off. The band plays you off. It's a superhero growing boy. No one to save anymore. Oh, so much better being in soon. Um, okay, guys, uh, thanks for sticking around. Thanks for watching. Um, uh, I we've got uh, two more of these shows. I believe uh, we're going to do these weekly throughout the month of May. And then uh, we're going to switch to something that might be a little less frequent, but I'm still going to do them. Um, and we'll just cross that bridge when we come to them. So I would say if you guys are enjoying these weekly shows, uh, make sure you tune in the next couple of weeks because uh, 
uh, they will be the last for a while, not a super long time. I don't want to, I'm not going to leave you guys entirely, but uh, uh, they will be slightly less frequent. So I'll just say that. Um, and this last tune, uh, I was seeing in the chat someone named Rihanna just uh, was supposed to have her MSW graduation today. I'm sure a lot of people are uh, not able to go through a graduation ceremony, which I can only imagine is incredibly disappointing. And uh, Rihanna, I'm glad you got your MSW. Uh, my sister is an MSW, so uh, it's as if you knew exactly how to get my attention. <laughs> and uh, this is a song you requested, so once I get it tuned up, we'll do it. And um, uh, if you guys want to head over to uh, Instagram at Grumpy Hour after this, uh, our own keyboardist, guitar player extraordinaire, Zach Ray, is having his weekly Grumpy Hour in which he... Uh, plays jazz music and teaches you how to make a pretty dope cocktail. So uh, see you next week. If I could open my arms, spend the length of the Isle of Manhattan, I'd bring it to where you are, making a lake of the East River and Hudson. If I could open my mouth Wide enough for a marching band to march out They would make your name sing Bend through alleys and bounce off all the buildings If I could open, wish we could open our eyes To see in all directions at the same time Oh, what a beautiful view If you were never aware of what was around you It is true what you said But I live like a hermit in my own when the sun shines again I'll pull the curtains and blinds to let the light in Sorrow drips into your heart through a pinhole It's like a faucet that leaks and there is comfort in the sound While you debate half empty or half full Slowly rises, your love is gonna Sorrow dips into your heart through a pinhole It's like a faucet that leaks and there is comfort in the sound While you debate half empty or half full it Slowly rises, your love is gonna Sorrow dips into your heart through a pinhole it's like a faucet that leaks and there is comfort in the sound While you debate half empty or half full Slowly rises, your love is gonna drown Your love is gonna drown Love is gonna drown Love is gonna drown Alright guys, take care. Uh, we'll see you next week. Have a great week. Alright, bye.